Hi, I'm Raf, and in this video, we're going to be solving the liquidity pools quest from level stream. In this quest, you're going to have to add two assets into a liquidity pool from the quest account. Then you're going to use another account to buy this asset using a path payment. And then finally, you're going to have to withdraw your pooled assets using the quest account. Liquidity pools or automatic market makers allow you to provide or use liquidity in a market without putting in explicit buy or sell offers. Let's look at Stellar X here. I have an order book for my buy order to execute. I need a sell order to match it. Same goes for the other way around. Instead of dealing with an order book, I can deal with an a market, a automatic market maker. What people do is they deposit two assets into a pool, a liquidity pool. And then people can go and trade these assets using this liquidity pool. When one of these assets like um, gets bought and lowers in the pool and the other one increases then this asset is going to increase in price in a curve manner of speaking um, because there's less of it in the pool proportionally to the other asset. Um, the square root of this asset times this asset always needs to equal the same amount. So this here allows the price of assets to be automatically decided based on the total liquidity that's in the pool. The order book and the liquidity pools are separate. So people will often arb the price in a liquidity pool uh, from the Stellar Decentralized Exchange. Let's go and solve this quest. So first things first, let's go and fund our quest keeper. Let's copy over our public key and our secret key. And then let's go and go to the Stellar Lab and create a new key pair. This is one that we're going to be using later to create a path payment and trade one asset, the, the asset from the other account to itself. Okay. There you go. And let's document this. And document our secret key. Now let's go from the quest wallet and issue an asset to ourselves. So from the quest wallet, I'm going to copy my public key, grab my next sequence number, and make a new operation of a payment to ourselves. And it's going to be a graph token, doesn't matter what it is. And then we're going to pay ourselves 10,000 of these tokens. Let's sign and submit this to the network using our secret key. Sign, submit. Okay. Let's go build an iron transaction and let's go and create a trust line to a pool with both of these both both XLM and RAF, the RAF tokens in it. So let's go fetch your next sequence number. And we're going to go and build a trust line. And it's liquidity pool shares. So it's between the native asset, which is XLM and RAF. There you go. And let's go and submit this to the network and submit. So now to be able to deposit into this liquidity pool, we need to find the liquidity pool ID. To do that, we're going to go into explore endpoints. Under liquidity pools, we're going to go all liquidity pools. And here we're gonna set our native asset as one of the asset, and then the other set asset is gonna be the wrap token. And that is issued by ourselves here from the quest wallet. Let's go submit this. And we can see here we have the liquidity pool ID. Let's go grab that and let's go document it. All right, let's go deposit some of these two assets into the pool. Let's go fetch our next sequence number. 
And now we're going to go to deposit, liquidity pool deposit. We're going to paste in our liquidity pool ID. We're going to put in a max amount of 1,000 XLM and 1,000 RAF. Uh, we're going to put them at a ratio of one to one, same thing here, so that they have the same value as we're putting them in. Let's go and sign this in the transaction submitter and submit to the network. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's go from our second account. And we got to create a trust line to this wrap token. So this is our source account. And this is the second account here. Okay, let's fetch next sequence number. And here we're going to change trust to a wrap token that's been issued by the Quest wallet. There you go. Let's sign and submit this to the network with our secret key from the second wallet. Okay, and sign and submit. Okay, so now we're gonna create a path payment to ourselves to switch some XLM to RAF tokens. So we're gonna use the liquidity pool that the Quest wallet has created and provided the two assets to, and we're gonna go and buy some RAF tokens using our XLM to our, and then we're gonna send it to ourselves. So the operation that we're doing is a path payment. The destination is ourselves. The asset is RAF and the issuer ID is our Quest wallet. The maximum amount of send, we're gonna send up to uh, 1000 XLM. Oh, actually, we're sending native. We're sending XLM. We want RAF assets. We want RAF tokens in exchange. So we're sending XLM. So we're sending a maximum of 1,000 XLM. And we are receiving, my apologies, we're receiving RAF that's issued by the Quest wallet. And because the more you buy, the less there is in the pool, the more the price increases, just because we're doing the Stellar Quest, we're just going to make sure that the destination amount is uh, at least one. Um, and this is just going to make it so that this order goes through. We don't know what the price is going to be for this quest. Let's just put a maximum of 1,000 XLM, and, uh, and we just want one RAF. Um, this is not what it's going to cost us necessarily, but this is what we want to receive. Um, so let's go and sign this in a transaction submitter using our secret key. And let's go submit this in the transaction submitter. Bad sequence number, oops. Grab a new sequence number, let's try that again. Sign and submit. Okay, so if we go and look up this account on Stellar Expert, we should have some RAF in there. There you go, we got one RAF. Woo woo, and it just costs us one and a bit XLM there. So now let's go and withdraw our pool shares from this liquidity pool. I'm just gonna go grab my Quest Wallet public key and I'm just gonna go put it into Stellar Expert. This is my total number of pool shares that I'll be withdrawing. And this should equate to just a little bit more than what we had initially put in, just because the other account paid a fee. So inside of the Stellar Laboratory, I'm gonna go and build a transaction. Still from the Quest Key pair, let's go fetch the next sequence number. The operation type is going to be a liquidity pool withdrawal. The liquidity pool that's withdrawing, that we're withdrawing from is this one. Let's grab that liquidity pool ID. The amount that we're withdrawing is a thousand shares. 
And you can set a minimum uh, of both assets just in case there's any slippage. Uh, we're just gonna put this to zero. And let's go sign and submit this to the network. Oh, bad auth. Let's just make sure we have the right secret in here. There you go. Sign and submit. So if we go look at this Quasi wallet now on Stellar Experts, just probably refresh this page here. We should see we just got a little bit more than what we started with because the other account had the PFP when it dealt with the market maker. All right, so if we just solve properly, we should have solved the Stellar Quest. Let's go see if it's solved and verify. And there we go. Woohoo! I hope this helped.